Okay, I have a standard 15 foot Walmart issued summer scape pool and I've had it for a couple years and the pump, this pump, the F, you know, the 1000 F or whatever it is has gone out as so many have had, I've seen on the internet. And uh, so it, it went out and I need to find another pump and I found another pump. It was at Walmart, uh, no, Westlake's, uh, Intex, Six, uh, 635T, it, uh, and it has bigger hoses other than your standard what came with the, uh, the pool. So uh, what I've done is I went out and purchased uh, some items to accommodate the two inch, the two inch hose. I got some, uh, so went to the plumbing department, got a two inch uh, smooth, and then uh, it has the threads there. I've gotten some uh, conduit lockout steel to hold it up into the thing, some silicone, and some uh, red rubber sheeting packing. So I'm gonna make my own gaskets on the uh, outflow back into the pool. So what I've done first here, and I'll make another video. I've taken my hole saw and I very carefully went down into it and made the hole. And then I'm removing these with a, with my knife so I can get a good, a good seat here. But also on the other end, when this goes up, goes up, goes up through it like this on the inside, I'll lay in the silicone. And removing these ridges here, all you need to do is have a real sharp knife. And what you do is you cut down towards the back all the way through like so. And then you score on each side at the, at the crease and it'll, it'll pop right off, which I've done a couple places here, like here and here. All right. So I've, I've finished uh, cutting off the ridges here. I've taken some hundred grit sandpaper and, and kind of sanded it down a little bit, made it kind of semi smooth. And on the inside too, you just want to make sure that this uh, this uh, lockout, this conduit lockout nut here fits easily inside of here. And you're not going to have a gasket here. Um, hard to find a gasket for this, so that's why we're going to use the silicone on the inside when we stick this thing through, such as. And you see the inside. We we'll drop this through. It's kind of tough. I don't have an extra person doing it. Anyways, well, I'll put it together. It's going to go through there. Lock steel is going to lock the nuts going to go on there. I'll show you as soon as I can get it on. All right. Here you go. There's the fitting, which is that fitting. The lock nut on there. Got it on pretty tight. Then you hook your hose up to this. So, and then the silicone goes down here around here. I'm going to be using a lot of silicone just because there's no gasket available that I can find, or I want to take time to find, so. There you go. So now I've applied my silicone, my pure silicone, 100% silicone caulk to the bottom. I'm putting it on pretty thick. And I'm gonna let that dry. It says full cure at 24 hours. I'm gonna give it 24 hours, so just to be sure to move on to the other issues I have at the pool. Okay, at the pool, and the hose that goes into back into the pool, I made my hole a little bit bigger to accommodate the two inch fitting. I made my own gasket, and I actually altered my other gasket here. I just cut the little inner ring out. We'll see how that works. Once I test it, when I get it all hooked up, hopefully there's no leaks. There you go. It's been a little bit over 24 hours now, and as you see my silicone in the bottom of the uh, basket here is uh, pretty much dry and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fill some water in there and make sure that seal held before I install it of course so I don't have to go through the taking screws on and off also what I'm going to do is once I confirm that that's not going to leak I'll put some uh, thread tape around the threads here and I'll attach the hose and then I'll fill the basket full of water and make sure that, that doesn't leak either
So this pump was supposed to come with this accessory box and it didn't. So it was supposed to have some gaskets and things like that. So uh, there's the piece I put on the other day. I made my own gasket for that, which wouldn't have been included in the box. And here's my hose for my my uh, water going back into the pool. Now I had to, I had some gasket material, so I went ahead and made my own my own gasket. It's kind of crude. I had to make my own gasket on the other side where the where the uh, it comes down into the pump, and that seemed to be watertight. So hook this up. I put some more thread tape on this too over here, and uh, we'll test it and see if it works. Okay, so here it is. I put it all together. I tested that. It didn't seem like it's leaking. And I tested this. I kept my own, kept my basket, did my strainer, and it's going to the new Intex filtration unit. So, fill in the pool now. We'll see what happens when it gets all full and ready to go. I'll kick it on, see what leaks. Then I'll have to drain it again, but maybe not. All right, I got it all hooked up and it's running. No leaks, <laughs> so I win. <laughs> Okay, just a review. So I wanted to keep my own basket. And uh, <clears throat> so what I did down here is I cut, cut the hole bigger to accommodate the two-inch hose. Now, one thing I didn't tell you, that I put the, uh, well, I put the, uh, the, the plumbing piece in there. And in here, I had to make my own gasket. You just can't hook it up. You've got to put a gasket in here. So, so I made that and made that connection here, and then on the return hose, again you got to put a gasket in here. Okay, altered this hole, made my own gasket. I used the existing gasket here, altered that, and uh, that should be it. Pool's a little cloudy, but I can take care of that. There you go. If you have any questions, you can always, uh, you know, email me off the uh, video.